Well, Norristown has got to make something happen here in the second half. It's going to be a hard road here. Chester is also making their mistakes. It's going to be interesting. So, Mark? Once again, uh, it is halftime, and the score is the Chester Clippers 22, the Norristown Eagles 18. So, for Steve Acovino, I'm Mark Kolodinsky. This is NASD TV, and we will be right back after a short halftime intermission. Stay tuned. Alongside Mark Kolodinski, I'm Steve Acovino. This is the PIAA District 1 Championship game. The number two seed, Norristown Eagles, versus the number one seed, Chester Clippers. And at the end of one half of play, Norristown is down by four. Chester leads it 22 to 18. And now, Mark, it's going to be a big task for Norristown to fight through this second half. Chester to inbound and Burton gets the butt ball right off the bat. And Norristown started off the first half very strong, but they sort of lost some of that energy towards the end. Let's see if they can continue to gain some energy back. All right there, uh, Norristown will get the ball. Here comes Russell Graham. He has it, two defenders quickly on him and, and fouled is Russell Graham. He's gonna be going to the line. Oh, this is a non-shooting foul, so he won't, excuse me. Let's see if the Eagles can get Khalif Wyatt back on track. He had a first half to forget. Russell Graham it comes up no good there on the three-point attempt. Here comes Chester. 7-18 now to go in the third quarter. Shot there by Chester does not go, and here comes Norristown. Norristown cannot rely on the three-point shots either. They've really liked shooting from there, but they're going to have to work inside. Back out. Here goes Wyatt. His shot there for three. I just can't win. I said one, I said that I had to stay away, and boy, I think Khalif Wyatt heard me and said, I'm gonna go for it. 22 to 21, Norristown only down by one. Chester misses the shot there, and Norristown will get the ball right back. Kevin Green, Germany, wanted a foul. He's a tremendous three-point shooter. And there was a little bit of contact on that play, but not enough to warrant a foul, a good no call. On the other end, hopefully Khalif Wyatt will have some confidence now. He scored six points in the first half, but there were just too low of a shooting percentage and far too many turnovers. Made it a first half to forget for Wyatt. But now if you can come out and hit a three like that, it should help him get back on track mentally and hopefully he'll stop hesitating and play like his normal self. Well, Khalif Wyatt has proved once again why he was the Triangle Tournament MVP earlier this season. He is a worker out on the court. He works very hard too, as Russell Graham does as well. And these guys can come together and play with some unique team chemistry. And no more do they need it than right now is to come together as that team that they've been all year and stick it to Chester uh, and show them, you know, You've doubted us, but you know what? People have doubted us, but we're not going away. They were 14 and 10 last year in the regular season, lost in the first game of districts. Now, one year later, they're in the District 1 championship. Why? 
Well, the players say they're playing like a family. They're playing as five guys out on the floor, not five individuals. They're playing as a team like a family. Norristown with the basketball. Russell Graham back out to Sheldon Mayer. 6.36 now to go in the third quarter. Norristown down by one, 22-21. Here's Khalif Wyatt. He's stripped of the ball. Ball's loose. Chester on it. And here comes Chester the other way. Shot there off the glass and two. Nasir Robinson gets two. And now it's 24-21. Chester up by three. Nasir wanted to go up for a dunk. Quentin Watson wasn't going to let it happen. But Nasir Robinson changed this shot and put it in. That's why he's considered one of the top players in Pennsylvania. Graham back out to Ramsey. His shot's no good. Here comes Chester. Shot there is no good. And Norristown has it. These are the things that Norristown has to take advantage of. Missed shots by Chester. Graham walks in, and there's two for Russell Graham. 24-23 now with 5.35 to go now. Third quarter, Chester with the ball. Up by only one. Layup there, and a foul for Karan Burton. But this is good. Norristown is, is keeping this team close. They're not letting them get too far away. But Norristown has got to retake some of this momentum. Yeah, and to do that, they're going to have to stop Karan Burton from getting out in transition. Sheldon there has been OK at times, preventing the long pass to him. But if he keeps catching those passes in full stride, uh, he's going to score on them every single time. And sometimes like a Nand one, like he's doing now. Shot there. For Burton is good, and it's now 27-23. Chester back up by four, 5-22 now to go third quarter. Russell Graham, shot is good. 27-25 now, Chester. And here comes Chester the other way with the ball. Pass there is loose, but good job by Chester getting back to it. Layup there, attempt no good, and a foul. What's the call here? Let's see. I'm sure the referees. And that player, really, for Chester, shouldn't have been allowed to hang on the rim like that after the play was done. Yeah, they, won, they he wanted to hang on the rim to avoid coming down on some other players. But in the, at the high school level, technically not supposed to be able to do it. We see that a lot more in the college and NBA level, too, you know, to avoid. But, you know, I guess in that situation, you can be a little bit more lenient. To me, I did not see from where I'm sitting anybody near him, but things happen quickly. Shot there for Johnson's no good. 28-25, Norristown down by three. Five minutes now to go in the third quarter. Russell Graham, bounce pass back out. Wyatt again for three. He drained it. Khalif Wyatt from downtown drains the three. We're all tied up here. Third quarter, 447 now to go in this third quarter. That's the shot he was not taking earlier in this game. Shot there by Chester, it's no good, out of bounds. And they're gonna say it's with Chester, and the fans are letting them know that that call. The Norristown faithful here can't believe it. Un well, you can't get everything correct here. You gotta go on what you saw, there's no no instant replay or anything in the high school level, so it's pretty tough to really scrutinize calls here. Burton goes up against two. And Chester takes the lead back, 30-28, four minutes and 30 seconds now to go, third quarter. And now Russell Graham has it back out, Wyatt. Wyatt has been the playmaker so far this quarter. Inside, Briggs is fouled. Oh, and that one rolls, but it, Briggs. Could not get the bucket to go, but he'll be stepping to the line. These free throws are important. Yeah, this game's gone back and forth now in the second half. Norristown with a nice push to get within two and possibly closer on the Briggs free throw. Briggs' first shot is up and good. And I'll tell you, a huge part of this right now, they're, they were down by four at halftime, and they're down by one now. A huge part of it has been Khalif Wyatt. You saw him take a couple threes, shots he would not have taken in the first half due to lack of confidence. Second shot, friendly roll, 
And it's now all tied up thanks to Maurice Briggs. Chester Burton coming the other way. Strong though, Norristown has got to set up. Burton, easy layup, boy, he walked right in. It's now 32-30 with four minutes and five seconds to go in the third quarter. Karan Burton, oh, very fast, very Oh, and Graham's buck, but here's Smart. Smart with the layup, that doesn't go. And here comes Chester. Burton again is gonna beat you every time. Slam dunk by Jefferson. And listen to the Chester fans. They have got to not let Karan Burton do that play. It's killed them, and they've not made an adjustment to it. What Norristown should do is take perhaps uh, Sheldon Mayer, who's not on the floor now, but then maybe go with Jared Smart, or, well, Sheldon Mayer's back now for Smart, and just uh, run down the floor with him. When he starts streaking out on missed shots, you go with him. Norristown down by four, and here comes Chester the other way. Oh, still rebound Chester. And that's Nasir Robinson with the putback on his own shot, 36-30. Chester back up by six, three minutes and 23 seconds to go. A lot of contact from Chester and no calls. And I'm not seeing this right, why the officials are not calling the contact from Chester. Ball's loose, here's Graham, cuts back out. Ramsey has it and Call is on Chester, foul there. I saw one of the officials look like he was ready to call a charge and give the ball to Chester, but the baseline official says block, so Norris down ball. Three minutes, eight seconds now to go, third quarter, Norristown with the ball, down by six. Pass out, Mayer's shot for three is just short, and Chester comes back up with the ball. Here's Burton with his speed. Breaks through, but he's picked off Out by Out of Graham. control. Here's Wyatt, and he is not gonna get the basket. Oh Other my. way. Other way, says the official. All my bias aside, I do not like that call. His feet were moving, so that should be a block. Well, I don't understand it. Still, I see contact from Chester that's not being called. Unbelievable, in my opinion, a one-sided officiating game, and I'm not just saying that. Uh, to say it, it's the truth here. And there's a nice break there. Norristown comes up with the ball Out down by six. Again. Wyatt goes up, and there Pretty is a basket move. for Khalif Wyatt. 36 32, two minutes and 27 seconds to go in this third quarter. And here comes Burton with the basketball for Chester. They've got Mayer on him now, so let's see if he can prevent him from driving to the basket with that speed of his. Inside there, can't convert Norristown. Long outlet pass, here comes Wyatt. Goes up and in, Khalif Wyatt gets two. It's 36-34, listen to that Norristown crowd down here at Villanova explode. One minute and 55 seconds to go now, third quarter. Norristown down by two, vote again. Norristown has got to watch that low post as Russell Johnson takes advantage of the opening. Back up by four is Chester, 38-34. We're seeing some great athleticism, a couple of huge dunks for Chester. But Norristown just needs to regain his composure. I mean, a dunk is just as good as anything else. It's worth two points. And um, Norristown's gotta be feeling a little bit of doubt right now, but they can definitely overcome a four-point deficit. You gotta keep them close. You can't let him get too far away. But Norristown's sticking with him. Here's Russell Graham. Two defenders immediately on him. Here comes Ramsey back out. Mayer gets the shot. That one rolls around, and here comes Chester the other way. Graham's Got the only one on back. One. Burton oh, is caught by Russell Graham. Russell Graham breaks it up. A Russell four on Graham. one, and Russell Graham denies the Chester Clippers of an easy two. Russell Graham, nice job on the block. That is really good when you have nobody back. Russell Graham wants to win this game, and he's showing you his intensity right now on the floor. Chester to inbound. And off the, the other foot. thing about that Russell Graham deflection, you prevent another highlight reel dunk that lifts the roofs off this place. And it's just great to see that, because that's a huge, huge momentum boost for the Chester Clippers. Well, that ball there, that play, Chester gets the ball back as they deflected it off of Quentin Watson. 
And there's a shot there for three, no good. Russell Graham up with the ball. Oh my goodness. You know, that official to me looks like the guy from the PW game last season. And you know what, he's gonna call that each time. I recognized him, I thought I did. Just a tough break, a bad shot by Karan Burton. Just takes a contested three off the inbound pass. But a tough call for Norristown. Russell Graham called for the dribble violation. Well, Norristown is not on, on the good side of the breaks here. Chester's getting some breaks here. But again, Norristown gets the ball back. So they, they're lucky to come up there unscathed. Here's Russell Graham. He loses the ball. And again, Burton, see oh, you boy. later. He walks in. Easy for two more. Now they're back up by six. Chester is 40. 34, 58 seconds now to go. Third quarter, Wyatt for three. Long range, no good. Chester comes back. Norristown's got to get back on defense. And that, I don't understand, is how is that's a foul there. That was more of a bump into the player than it was a foul. Yeah, and then when that happened, when Chester's doing that at the other end, they're not calling it against Chester. It, it, uh, it really is. Uh, interesting here to see how uh, Chester is also making uh, mistakes, but yet they're getting more of the breaks in the scoring department. And right now, Norristown has just got to keep going with the momentum. They can't let anything go at this point. 34 seconds to go, third quarter. They're only down by six points. If they're not getting breaks from the officials, they have to create their own breaks. Exactly. All right, Khalif Wyatt just holds on to it with 15 seconds to go. Now in this quarter, nine seconds. Wyatt makes his move, almost loses the ball, and there's a foul. I think that on that play they should have called some kind of a basket interference because when that shot was up in the air, uh, a Chester player was hanging on the rim, so that should not, that could have been a call, but well, with the, the shot wasn't close, so I guess you don't worry about it. True. But. I mean, too, with the way we've seen this game being called, I wouldn't expect anything in that nature. Um, and here goes Wyatt shooting two. First ball's up. It's good. Now he can make it a four-point game once again for the Eagles. Wyatt with this, this next free throw. It's up. It's Good, and 40 to 36 now. Norristown is only down by four points, six seconds, 6.3 seconds now to go in this third quarter. And we have official timeout here. Substitutions. Vontae Shippen comes in the game. Quentin Watson takes a seat for Norristown. Khalif Wyatt recovered from a bad first half. He has scored 10 in the quarter for 16 points overall tonight. Here comes a shot there from Chester. And still hanging on the rim there from Chester. No foul call whatsoever. Yeah, and at the there. end of the half, excuse me, end of the third quarter, it's now 42-36 Chester. Yeah, and they're not going to call that in such a big game. Maybe they should, but they're not going to. And See, North Town now down by six. They need to forget about all the tough officiating breaks they've had and just play basketball. Well, as they say, you don't look for excuses, you look for answers. And that's what Northern Santa's got to do. They've got to look for answers. What's going on? You know, they have to make some adjustments here. You know, the officials have not been in their favor, as we mentioned, but you got to put that behind you. You know, that's their thing. Chester is catching some good breaks. They're playing a lot tougher. They're causing turnovers. And they've been here before. It's experience and it pays off. And uh, Norristown has got to make some big adjustments here with eight minutes of basketball to go now in this fourth quarter. And it's not saying it's impossible, but it's uh, going to get tougher and tougher as the game wears on here. Yeah, one thing I think that they can do, and the Chester Clippers can actually do this as well, it seems like these teams are sometimes playing too fast and they'll be coming in transition and they'll just make a dumb turnover. Sometimes it seems like the adrenaline's going a little bit too much out of control. They're, sometimes they're just getting out of control, both teams, and then they're turning the ball over. Khalif Wyatt did it 100 times in the first half. It has been better in the third quarter, but his team is still doing it. 